Hi, welcome back. My name is Srikant. Today's session, we're going to look at SAP HANA Cloud Evaluation from SAP New Environment to uh, Cloud Foundry Environment in SAP Cloud Platform. Initially, SAP HANA as a service was offered in New Environment, uh, which is primarily 1.0 version of HANA. We used to have access um, engine running for applications. And then later, uh, SAP HANA service was introduced in Cloud Foundry. Um, which is going to use uh, Cloud Foundry Runtime instead of Access Classic. So which is more open, standard, and multiple languages are supported as part of application programming. And then later SAP HANA Cloud product is introduced. It's an extension to HANA as a service on CF, which is very similar to what we have got on HANA as a service on CF, plus a lot of native HANA capabilities introduced for example, uh, having native storage extension and also um, so much flexibility in uh, scaling up the infrastructure and etc. And it is multi-cloud strategy uh, support is, is uh, going to give a lot of uh, features in terms of uh, having uh, supported in Amazon, Microsoft and Google and also Alibaba. Okay, now we have three products. And we're going to talk about how we're going to migrate uh, to SAP HANA Cloud if we are using SAP NEO or HANA as a service on CF. So we are using SAP NEO, which is a HANA 1.0 version. And it's going to be two-step process to go. It, it could be two-step process or it could be one-step process. If it's two-step process, you can switch to HANA as a service on CF first and then and then uh, later you're going to migrate to HANA Cloud uh, product, which is um, a two-step process of what I was talking about. Is it really needed? Or you can directly migrate from SAP NEO to HANA Cloud, as I shown in the below diagram. So this is also possible. You can migrate from uh, NEO environment to HANA Cloud and CF uh, directly. What should I choose in these two options? So far as we are a new customer, as a Greenfield implementation, SAP is going to offer HANA Cloud um, as the public cloud offering to customers, which means SAP is not going to offer um, HANA as a service on Cloud Foundry or SAP HANA or new environment uh, for the new customers. It is always go to solution is HANA Cloud. Having said that, um, even though you're migrating to HANA as a service on CF, eventually you're going to migrate to HANA Cloud product in the future. So, so you can consider to have a migration happen directly to SAP HANA Cloud product is the best choice so that you, you uh, avoid uh, multiple uh, testing, multiple efforts for um, development and also migration um, because of this two-step process. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about what is going to be involved in this migration and what are the challenges and what are the changes which will um, happen after migration is completed. Let's so take a look at the, um, the diagram, uh, some of the notes here. Um, so what is going to happen when you migrate from Neo HANA as a service to see of um, HANA Cloud? Um, so this is going to be a manual migration process. There's no uh, tool uh, given by SAP at this time. So you're going to take all the objects from Neo environment from HANA 1.0, export that, uh, and also using um, Migration Assistant, uh, and import those files back into SAP HANA Cloud um, supported uh, development tool, and then you start building them and do all the all kind of further developments in there. So, which means it's not a simple migration uh, as in, in, uh, in general. It's going to involve a lot of steps, manual steps to take the content from Access Classic using Studio and then migrate that to new development tool supported uh, objects which are design time artifacts, Web IDE for HANA or Web IDE full stack or business applications or whatever the development tool you're going to use. So, just that. The second thing is you, you, you're not going to have access application server um, in HANA Cloud product, which is going to be completely CF Cloud Foundry based runtime. And you're going to um, follow the principles of Cloud Foundry in, in HANA Cloud product. 
And you're, of course, you're going to have uh, new development tools like Web IDE Full Stack or Business Application Studio um, instead of HANA Studio um, in, in after migrating to the HANA Cloud product. Of course, you don't have repo. It's going to be replaced by GitHub. And HLM is going to be replaced by um, CF, uh, CLI tools for uh, deployment um, for deployment. You also have that uh, um, administration is done in HANA cockpit. And more importantly, you got HDI containers for doing the developments. To talk about all these topics, we have covered in a different uh, series of videos, uh, which are part of Access Advanced um, topics. So to summarize the migration and also the developments in HANA Cloud, is are more similar to what you what we do uh, what we did in Access Classic to Access Advanced this is going to be same or more similar processes will be happening on the cloud as well. So if you're familiar with the concepts of migration on-premise, then you know, you're going to be okay in doing this on cloud as well. This is what I was talking about um, from HANA as a Neo service to Cloud Foundry HANA Cloud product. If you want to if you're already on HANA service on CF, I wanted to migrate it to HANA Cloud CF, which is going to be easy. There's a tool uh, provided by SAP, and you're going to uh, uh, run the tool to migrate all the objects uh, from service HANA service on CF to HANA Cloud um, on CF. That's easy to migrate, you know, because all the design time artifacts are created um, using Web IDE um, in this um, CF service. And then you're going to just need that uh, migrated to HANA Cloud supported format, which is almost equal. There are a few things which are not supported in HANA Cloud, for example, CDS, uh, HDB CDS is not supported. So you will have to make sure the, those those kind of objects are not in, um, not going to be included when you're migrating to CF on Cloud, HANA Cloud product. So what that, well, that's being said, uh, what is going to, um, BA during the migration. So you're going to cons consider exporting the delivery unit from um, HANA 1.2 and then export that and then run the migration tool for the delivery unit and get the exported objects into Web IDE full stack or business application studio and then start building them. Of course, you're going to go through all the access scenarios as part of HDI containers, whatever we've been uh, learning in XSA will be applicable here as well. And coming to the services, uh, there might be some services which you may not be able to see after migrating to HANA Cloud or HANA as a service on CF. For example, Git service, which, is, which used to happen, which used to use in HANA as a service on Neo will not be available on Cloud Foundry. It's just something uh, you'll have to use a public GitHub service for that particular um, uh, scenario. And also job scheduler is, is used to be part of Access, and now it's going to be an external service uh, as part of your Cloud Foundry. You're going to subscribe to that uh, in order to use the job scheduler. You can get a list of all the services which are getting migrated from uh, Neo to Cloud Foundry environment in this blog. Uh, if you have any further questions on the availability of some of the services in a multi-cloud or CF environment in future, you may be able to get some notifications from this blog or SAP notes what, uh, uh, describing about the migration. I also have a, a topic discussed on this forum. Uh, I'm going to attach these links as well to, the, to this video. I can follow through um, as a references. And lastly, we are covering all the um, development topics as part of this series uh, on HANA Cloud by using Business Application Studio. So we're going to learn uh, different object development and deployment in the coming videos. Thanks for listening. Uh, I hope it is helpful and we'll come back uh, with some other topic in the next video. If you want to get the detailed training, please reach out to me at uh, sarumpaliat.com. Thank you very much. Bye for now.